the iconic shaved ice of Hawaii. You can see the passion fruit, you can see the strawberry topping, the mochi. Something I could not miss out on. Here are my thoughts on three locations I visited. Let's go, travel head. Let's go get some shaved ice. First spot on the list, Wayola Shaved Ice. They got a few locations around Oahu. Surprising there's no long line even though it's super hot today. So now we have our Wyola Shaved Ice Super Hot Day. Surprisingly, there was not a long line. We got the mango and we got the what flavor? Linicoy, which Linicoy. is like their passion fruit. So we got a fruity color here, condensed milk and mochi balls in this. Starting to melt already. Let's give it a try. Good during this hot day, hot weather. You can taste the passion fruit in this one. Pretty strong. Oh, Overpower is the mango, I would say. Um, let's go find the mochi. Mm -hmm. There you go, you see that pink thing? It tastes like a fresh mochi. Dice. And you said this was Martin Wing's favorite chain dice spot okay. in Hawaii. According to his video, now that that's the girl, I think it's already in. So I guess it's kind of an open popular thing in Hawaii. Next is part of the North Shore Drive to get to Matsumoto Shade Ice. So now we're waiting in line for Shade Ice 15 minutes before closing. Hopefully we will get our Shade Ice. Yeah, we're eager to try because how much different can Shade Ice taste that this place is the hype as you can see from the long lines. So what we get, what we get? We got the tropical with mochi and condensed milk. And then we got the Hawaiian with condensed milk as well. So surprisingly, the shaved dice are really, really cheap. In my opinion, it's cheap. It's like $3 for a small and $3.50 for a large. We added mochi in ours, so it's an extra dollar. We got ourselves the tropical, which consists of passion fruit. Papaya. Mm, papaya. And shaved ice never had that. And guava. And guava. So this is a very tropical one. And that one is a Hawaiian flavor, which is... Pineapple, mango. Honestly, not sure because that's not the one we got. But yeah, it comes with condensed milk. I'll try the passion fruit. What made you get the That one's also popular. Taste some condensed milk. That passion fruit taste is there as well. Pretty good and refreshing. The condensed milk is super strong. I would definitely say, like, because this is so many different flavors, my favorite one is the blue one. Because that's the least artificial tasting, even though the color is crazy. Um, the rest of it, I can't. It does have a distinct flavor. I like the tropical way more than the Hawaiian one for sure. The Hawaiian one really tastes like uh, your typical artificial one. Tropical one just tastes good. Now let's try the mochi with tropical mochi. Oh yeah, got the mochi ball. Soft, chewy, bouncy mochi. Tropical one was super good. Hot weather, perfect. $3 cheap. The mochi added an extra dollar for like six to eight pieces of mochi. I think it's worth it. If you like that little soft bouncy texture, it's good. And for our favorite shaved ice in Hawaii. We have our Island Vintage Shaved Ice. It's outside of a mall, super crowded. It's in its own little booth. But yeah, as you can see, there's a line right there. It has over a thousand reviews and four and a half stars on Yelp. So we gotta try it out. We haven't had the best luck finding good shaved ice here in Waikiki area since this one has a high review. We're hoping this one will produce some good shaved ice. But let's go try it out, travel heads. Alright guys, now we have the shave ice right over here. You see the passion fruit, the little seeds of the passion fruit in there. You can see the strawberry topping, the mochi, the shaved ice, the condensed milk in it, popping boba. Let's go give it a try. There's the lilikoi side right here. Look at that. Mm. Oh my god. It's, wow, even with the condensed milk. So good. What? So good, oh my god. It wow. tastes so fresh. Super refreshing. It's really good though. Like, let's get some of that passion fruit with it. Let's get the strawberry. Is this strawberry now? Yeah. The strawberry with condensed milk. Wow. It's not too sour. I like my strawberries that not very sour. Most strawberries I see are super sour, but not this one. This one's just right. Doesn't make me squint my eyes or anything like that. It's not artificial at all. We make homemade syrup here. So it's so good and it doesn't taste artificial like other places. There's ice cream in the center of it. As you can go into that little coil, you can see it right here. Ooh, there's a performance going on. Just got a very small slice of the ice cream. It's not a bad strawberry popping boba as well. The popping boba is not like on one of the your regular bobas that you see, the tapioca. Popping boba is like a lot of juice inside and it's just like a little skin holding onto it. So when you pop it, 
a lot of flavor comes out of it. It's very sweet or it can be sour as well, depending on your flavor. But let's try their fresh made mochi as well. Oh, uh oh. Try it with some lilikoi and some strawberry. That's a chewy mochi. Homemade, the mochi has a light pineapple taste to it. There is literally ice cream in the center of it right there. The shaved ice itself is very good. It's a fluffy shaved ice. It doesn't melt so quick. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and consider subscribing and I'll see you on our next Hawaii adventure. Until then, travel heads.